<laughs> this is gonna be good. <laughs> <laughs> Hello everybody. Welcome back to Tom Reads Things. My name's Tom. Laura's here. Oi, 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 oi. Laura, <laughs> Laura, 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 Laura. Um, so, <laughs> <laughs> Got well into it then. Uh, so Laura is my um, sister's girlfriend and we like talking about books uh, to each other. Now. So I have, um, I've recommended you some books, haven't I? Yes, you have. So we've, so you've read a couple that I've recommended. Yes, you've been really good at recommending ones that you think I would like. Really good. Did you hear that? Really good. Um, the first one I think you suggested yeah. was this little gem. Everyone's favourite. <sighs> Did loved you like it. it? Yes, absolutely loved it. You, you were telling me, I think I remember asking you what you were reading at the time. And he was like, I've just finished the binding. And I was like, oh, what's that about? And we just yeah. kind of got chatting about it. And I was completely just absorbed by what you were saying and mm. wanted to read it immediately. It's so. so good. I mean, this book, I think, talks for itself, doesn't it? Let, mm. I mean, just look at that for a start. <laughs> look at that cover. <laughs> look at that. Sorry, everybody. I've got a horrible spot here. Um, just look at that cover. I'm, I'm sorry. It's just absolutely ridiculous. It is gorgeous. So the, for anyone who doesn't know, the, I've spoken about this book so many bloody times on this channel, but it is about the story of a young guy called Emmett. He um, becomes apprentice to become a bookbinder. And in this world, um, evil memories and things are bound up in books and that's how you forget them. And then one day he comes across a book at his apprenticeship with his name on it so and it kind of all goes on from there mm -hmm. and i remember saying to you i remember saying the the as soon as you get the end of the first part of this book so it's split into three isn't it yeah <laughs> um the... <laughs> oh <my laughs> when you get to the end of the first part literally the last sort of couple of paragraphs of the first part of this book you're like I, well i was like oh my yeah. god this is gonna be Quite so fair. good um and it is it's really really brilliant um if you haven't read it yet please read it it's just brilliant Definitely. i want to talk to everyone about this book it was unbelievable when i was reading through it i couldn't read through it quick enough mm. and want to talk to you about it quick yeah. enough because yeah. i was just like like literally just so excited yeah. and there was parts of it Obviously, you don't want to give it away, but there was obviously parts of it that I was a bit like, oh, okay, I think there's something going on here. <laughs> um. <laughs> Thumbs the up. The binding. 10 out of 10. Now, the next book is a book that I lent you, and you, have, you, you haven't told me what you think of it yet. So this is called The Wicked Cometh, and I've really hoped you would like it. Mm -hmm. So let me, what did you think? <laughs> I didn't. <gasps> oh my. I'm kidding, I love oh. it. <laughs> oh my God. Don't do that to me. Don't do loved, that to me. Loved, loved it. I've had about two weeks off work, which has been a godsend because it enabled me to really just fully have my attention on it, which I love anyway. I hate not, I hate that feeling of not being able to give time to read him because I just love it so much and it's such a relaxation sort of part um but this absolutely loved it and i can't quite believe that this is her first novel is like it a read... novel so at the back it says like a little <laughs> uh laura carlin this is yeah the wicked cometh is her first novel so yeah. i was like oh my god what an absolute first little gem and if she brings out anything else then i'll be definitely and again gorgeous look at the color the cover even cover. um so for anyone who doesn't know this, well, do you want to say what it's about? Can you remember what it's about? Um, it is about sort of a younger, actually, let me just hang on. How old is she? I think she's like, I think she's like eight, 19. Okay, thank God, because I thought she was in like her early teens, like 12, 13. And then obviously when no. this love interest happens, I was like, oh, this is really bizarre. It made me feel a bit strange. And then I thought, well, no, she's got to be a bit older because she's quite, um, methodical in some ways that she is and you know she's very she's well educated and she's got a bit of experience behind her obviously she's been on the streets for quite a bit but anyway um she's a girl that comes from a bit of a uh, background a rough background a rough background such as herself um <laughs> no. very rough <laughs> she 
It's a young girl called Hester, uh -huh. and it's based in London, but she's from Lincoln, and she has some unfortunate events that happen at the start of her life and she finds herself being in like squalor in London and then an incident happens where sort of her fortune changes quite rapidly within like a space of a couple of hours and then yeah. all of a sudden she's come from rock bottom right up to the top of sort of the food chain in terms of that she's now living in the, her living area is like in this massive sort of mansion where there's servants and she's being really cared for and then there's murders that happen, a lot of missing in, missing people. And so she, she sort of goes on this uh, detective journey with with one of the ladies, the misses of this house called Rebecca. And they it's build sort a of very like, close relationship. Yeah, it's like the two of them running around London trying to solve this, this yeah. murder. And it's really, really, it's really gripping and really mm. interesting. And it's not something you see very often to women in that yes. kind of role, is it? And no. I, that's what I really liked about it, so yeah. When I read a lot of it the other day, I was at, I had a day off and I was walking around London and reading it whilst walking mm. around London really sort of added to the storyline. I was, felt like I was really like in it with them, as ridiculous as that sounds. Oh, I'd like I to really, do that. really enjoyed it, it was such good fun. I'd like to read Just the Mermaid sitting in different and, um, parts of London yeah, and reading it. Yeah, understanding was in the little, where they are. I was in Soho Square, sat on the grass reading it, and then I was in uh, South Bank, like on a little uh, picnic bench reading it, and I was just like, yeah, I'm, I'm in the thick of this. Mm. It was really, really fun, so yes, good. I'd, I'd quite like to do good that choice. with The Mermaid and Miss Hancock. The Mermaid and Miss Hancock is set in... Um, it's set in Georgian London. I'd quite like to do it. And they explain, it, it explores quite a lot of um, central London in that book. So mm. I'd like to do the same with that. Actually. I think you said it was, um, that's good for autumn. The Mermaid of Miss Hancock yeah. is good for autumn. And actually, talking of the Mermaid of Miss Hancock, I've lent it to Laura. So is that going to be the next one you read? Or do you think you're going to read one of the well, these two? Because we, one thing we should, should have mentioned at the beginning of this video is we went bookshop shopping today. Yes. And we, I kind of was hoping that I wasn't going to buy many books because I bought quite a few the other week, but I did. Um, and Laura did as well. So I bought three books, you bought two. And actually we came up with quite a good plan. There was loads of books we wanted to buy and we were like, right, you buy half of them, I'll, I'll buy half of them. Mm. And then we can swap once we've read them. Yes. It's good to give something back to you. Yes, it is. <laughs> so the, should, should, eight, we talk eight, about, eight. Should, should we talk about the first one? Things in Jars. I'll let you... By Jess Kidd. Yes. So this has been doing... I think you've, doing... you've known more about this than what I have. I saw it late last yeah. night on Amazon, weirdly enough. And then Hannah found it randomly in the shop. And I was like, I saw that last night, weirdly. So, yeah, yeah I'm glad. Um, this, is, this has been doing the rounds on BookTube for a while, as has the other one, actually, that um, Laura's going to talk about. Um, but I don't know a huge amount about it. Um, and actually, both of these books, Simon from Savage Reads has spoken about on his channel, so I will link those videos down below. Um, but I just, I, I know it's historical fiction, and you, everyone knows I love historical fiction. It's set in London in 1863, right? Sold. Done. Sold. Done. Sold, actually. No, I'm sorry. I'm sold on that. <laughs> so actually, a bit like The Wicked Cometh, this is a female detective sort of lead role story. Because mm, I do like crimey stuff. <laughs> like, I like the detective side. So that drew me in instantly. Mm. And now I am getting really more into historical fiction. Yes. So I think I will... I think I'll really enjoy this. I hope I've not bitten off more by saying that, by, being, you know... Hyping it up too hyping much it up in too your much own before, mind. Yeah, yeah, and then being really disappointed. But yeah. I've read such good reviews on it. Yeah. yeah, I'm I'm really excited to to read this one. Yeah, and I'm gonna read this after you. And if mm -hmm. I like it, I will definitely pick up more of Jess Kidd's work. So the next book that Laura bought was Ta Da, The Doll Factory yes. by Elizabeth McNeil. Now I've heard a bit about this book because um, again Simon uh, from Savage Reads did a video where he was talking to Elizabeth McNeil um, about this book while they were. Is it called throwing pottery? They were doing like pottery. Like it wasn't like ghost. It wasn't like Patrick Swayze and Demi Moore. Yeah. Maybe it was. I don't know. But um, it was. <laughs> it was a great video where they were just making some pottery Aww. and talking about 
this book. So, um, so yeah, I've, I'll link that video down below. So we saw this today. We mm -hmm. both want to read it. Yeah. Do you know what it's about? It's about like love and conquest, but there's also like some dark obsession. Oh, so that sounds there's, good. It's love, conquest, and dark obsession. Mm. I think we've all got a bit of that. Oh, haven't we? An intoxicating, an intoxicating story about a young woman who aspires to be an artist and the man whose obsession may destroy her world forever. Bloody hell. So I'm definitely <laughs> going to be reading this after Laura. Very excited about it. And again, what yes. a wonderful cover. And it's got lovely end papers as well. Look at those butterflies. Beautiful. I forgot to bring my books mm. from home that's that so how could you how could I you had one job you had one job i am sick of this <laughs> um <laughs> so thank you for being on <laughs> thanks, thanks for being yeah. on my channel you're welcome thanks you're welcome. Um, i'm sure laura will be back again <laughs> yeah. i'm sure laura will be back again oh, soon no. because we'll oh, have no. to talk about these books Oh, God, yes. We'll have to read them and then Laura will be back to talk about them, I'm sure. Mm, yeah. So thanks very much for joining us and we'll see you again soon. Ta-ra. Ta-ra. Ta-ta, bye. Um. <laughs> <laughs> Please cut all that out. <laughs>